Intangible assets are assets that give companies long-term benefits and rights and lack physical substance. Examples are copyrights, trademarks, patents, franchises, and goodwill. When an intangible asset has a limited life, we have to amortize it, meaning that we allocate its cost over its estimated useful life. Amortization of intangible assets is similar to depreciation. It is simply a way to allocate the cost of an intangible asset to expense. However, we typically only use the straight line method for amortizing intangibles. There are also some intangible assets that are estimated to have an unlimited or indefinite life. For these assets, we do not have to amortize their cost. Let's do an example with amortization expense. Assume we purchase a patent costing $80,000 that has a useful life of 20 years. To compute amortization, we take the $80,000 cost divided by the 20 year useful life. This gives us $4,000 of amortization per year for 20 years. To record the journal entry, we debit amortization expense for 4,000 and credit accumulated amortization for 4,000. Amortization expense is reported as an expense on the income statement. Accumulated amortization is a contra asset account and is reported on the balance sheet, meaning it reduces the net amount reported for patents.